Our next guest can turn your iPhone or perhaps your iPod Touch into a universal remote control for televisions, DVDs, DVRs, cable boxes, most other products that come with an infrared remote. Yes, your phone now can control all your goodies. Pretty cool. The CEO of L5 Technology is Wade McNary. Wade, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you, Dave. Glad to be here. Glad to have you with us as well. This is getting a lot of attention. Uh, well, during we're CES really... Week. We're really excited. We're really pleased. The reception's been outstanding. Now, tell me about uh, the L5 remote. How does it work? And for those listening on the radio, have no fear. Swing by intotomorrow.com. Check out the video as well. We're showing you how it works. Great. So the L5 remote is two parts. There's a uh, hardware piece that looks like this, very small, mm -hmm. compact hardware piece. And this you buy retail. Plug that in. And there's an app that's downloadable from the iTunes store beginning in February. Okay. All right. And then you simply turn your phone or your iPod Touch upside down. That's right. So it's, <laughs> it's the opposite of, well, we, we like to think that the telephone's upside down <laughs> and our product's the right side Good up line. There. I like it. But uh, it's very easy then to drag and drop the remote that you want. Most people have a t coffee table full of remotes, but they actually only use a few buttons from each device. True. So you can drag those buttons onto the remote. Uh, you can size them, you can rearrange them however you want, and then when you're satisfied, you simply train it using the original remote. Put those away, and now you've got your iPod Touch or your iPhone that can operate all your audiovisual. So, equipment. I mean, is it really as simple as you're describing? It's very, you very up? simple. The uh, drag and drop, I mean, it can, if you really obsess over it, it might take a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then training it, uh, we, we have a very intelligent training mechanism that it takes about a half a second to, for it to train each button. Now, one of the cool things that I'm wondering if you can do is maybe uh, set it up to uh, change the, the TV in your favorite sports bar or something from across the room. Well, we've heard about that. <laughs> yeah. you know. Not fact, that you're recommending that. Not right? that we're recommending that, that kind of behavior. The, uh, in fact, you could always do that with the universal remote control. You could always, but now the iPhone is something that you would actually carry around. Sure. So if people do that, well, I don't know. But the cool thing, I guess, you could just as conveniently leave the small device on your coffee table. Right. Be and because you've always got your phone with you, then when you're ready to kick back and uh, enjoy some uh, some television That's or what right. have you, pop it on and you're good to go. That's right. We, absolutely. And also, there are a lot of people who have upgraded to the new iPhone. And so their old iPhone doesn't work on the on the network anymore. And so that you can turn your old iPhone, your old iPod Touch into a universal remote control. That's true. And if you've already got it on Wi-Fi at home right. and it's doing other apps, it's that's running right. other cool stuff, so why not? It becomes very powerful. And, in fact, I'm going to tell you, stay tuned, because our uh, application roadmap is extensive. And once you start using this, you, you're, it's, it's obvious it's, this can go very far. Really? Yeah. So you're kind of teasing us with some other well, opportunities I, you here. You know, I don't want to give everything away. No, but, come on. It's just yeah. us. I won't tell yeah. anybody. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, it really it becomes very impressive. Uh, download the first app and it does what you expect, and the second RAV, the third RAV do beyond, much beyond what you would expect. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the impression it's going to cook breakfast or something. I don't That's know, right. but we'll That's certainly right. look forward to it. That's now, right. availability uh, now. February. I uh, mean, you mentioned February, right, so very right around the corner. Available U.S. Uh, starting in February, U.S., Canada, and then uh, U.K., and then the rest of Europe shortly thereafter. And we're talking about any device that is otherwise controlled with infrared, with because infrared. which most controls are. Almost every home entertainment device, and in the rest of the world also air conditioners, fans, uh, home home automation devices. Ah, dim, dim your lights, uh, right. pull your blinds closed, right. they're open. What and in fact, you? you could set up a macro. You might want to do this, actually, Dave. You could set up a macro where it could automatically dim the lights, put on some mood music, maybe have some kind of mood screen on your TV, ah, all in one simple button touch. The plot thickens. That's right. and, and it's probably just as easy to set up a macro as well as it is to set up the remote. Yeah, the whole with. thing is very, very easy. It, it's very in line with Apple's philosophy of simplicity and elegance yeah. and coupled with the power of the iPhone iPod Touch. It's, what it's about a, battery life on, uh, well, on the iPhone or the Touch? Is it going to drain the battery? or the hardware, the hardware actually uses virtually no uh, power. Because it's on for such a short duration and such a low amount of power. Yeah. So the power drain is the same as any other app. And it really, the power drain comes from the screen, the backlight on the screen. There you go. And that's exactly like every other app. Certainly a lot more than the app itself. I mean, the device itself is pulling power-wise. So right. very well, easy. Like I said, the hardware, you, if, if you ran the hardware, uh, it, would, it would drain the battery in two to three months. 
And most people recharge every night. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And how much? Forty nine ninety five. Okay, so just yeah. under fifty bucks. Available well, we like to say fifty is the new twenty. <laughs> okay, I'll let you say that. <laughs> as a matter of fact, it seems Great. to work. Wade McNary is the CEO of L Five Technology. That's also their website. L the number five technology.com for more. We'll link you there, of course, when you hit into tomorrow.com and just look for our three weeks worth of CES coverage. Wade, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Dave. Our pleasure. Back with more from Las Vegas, I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.